My Friend, My Friend, Thank You by Led Zeppelin. Tell you what, I had a request to do a Zeppelin tune going to California. It's out there on this thingy. And I, uh, while doing it, remembered I did another uh, Zeppelin tune that I really enjoyed playing called Thank You. If you haven't heard it, check this one out. It's going to be centered around the key of B minor and D major. We're going to have the first opening note has like... Which is going to incorporate the D major, a D sus4, a D sus2 with the E note over the top, and then a D. That sus4 had the G over the top. If we go to the fifth fret and we play like a D major, it would be made out of the A major shape. Moving that up to the fifth fret and then barring that. So the bars on the seventh makes the A and then our low note is the D. One of the things I like to do is just to hold the form of this, which is the four, because that would have the, essentially have that note of the, uh, what is that? The E, D, E over the top of it, which is relative to the G, sounds great. I put my G right there then, so I could have that little hammer on. I'm pretty sure that's how Jimmy does it. And then down to the same thing right here, but we're gonna be holding these two together. Same down to here, for the G major basically. We can do that G major here. But when it gets in the groove, you want to have it to the C major. I do a C9 here, and I keep it pretty loud, and I keep my two pinky and my uh, ring finger up on those two notes, the uh, G major and the D. As soon as I switch from the D major, D sus to four, I leave that C9 in there, Come in. If the sun received on to a G, I would still be loving you. And remember, don't rush this. You want to keep it kind of slow, so not a lot of strumming. If the mountains crumble to the sea, it will still be you and me. That's D, C, and G. We're gonna go to a B minor. The lyrics over the top are, kind woman, you give me my all. We're gonna go to an E major. Never mind the D and A I played there. I was reaching. And then we're gonna go back to the B minor. We're gonna hit that E and then throw a G sharp in there and go directly to an A. Woo, here's what it's gonna sound like. Kind woman, I give you my all. We're doing a little walk up, meaning we're just going to have our fingers go from the A to the B and then to the C. C major, little drops of rain. I like to call this the Beatles chord. You could call it a bunch of different things, but I'm playing a G major with no G, just the B and the uh, D and the G up here. You can also play it as being a C major, and then you drop your C major down to its major seven. So hypothetically, it's a C major seven with a low uh, uh, C flat or a B in the bass. But there's a multitude of different ways you can name this. By the way, quick stop. If you like the way I teach and the information and the way I present it, please thumbs up, subscribe. If not, there are plenty of resources. Have fun with those. Going back. Little drops of rain. Whisper of the pain. We're gonna go all the way back up the D till nothing gone by. Back to the same mechanism. If our love is strong, you can hit a big old G. It's the same thing as playing that. Love, there is no wrong. D major. Together we shall go until we die. That big old B minor again. We're gonna do that same mechanism over and over. And so uh, when we get up here, we're gonna say, uh, when we get over this. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Rather than going through the process, going through that movement, we just go back to the same. And so today, my 
Everybody's favorite part. Thanks to you, it will be done. Remember when you get this high notes, me to you, me to you. It has to match what you're doing. So if you can't hit those top notes, bring down your volume. You're gonna have a, what is that, a smile? But if you want to build it back up, you can have that. Thanks to you, you. Use your voice if you can. If you have somebody that's accompanying you, make eye contact so they know what you're doing and play right along with them. Tell you what, I really like the way this one came out. Um, if you have any questions about thank you, the only thing it does after that, it goes into a really, really cool. I guess the modal structure over the top will be D major. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. We could have maybe mix a lady. Yeah, Mixolydian works, which would be formed after a D7. That seven, that minor seventh of D makes a C note rather than a C sharp. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ta, do. Still resolves, still a major with that major third, the C sharp. However, or sorry, the F sharp. However, it really does function well. Remember the chords we learned today are basically this finger here on the B string, fifth fret. Skip a finger, skip a fret, seventh with the third finger, play that G in the B. Do the hammer on. Try that a couple hundred million times. It's lots of fun. Do that same thing. You can go back up to the G, or you can play down here. Oh, that's minor sign. Then that major. Uh, Either way you do it, make sure you do it slow, then medium, then up the tempo of whatever version you're listening to. If you have any questions, put them down below. Subscribe if you like. If not, I'll see you next time. Aloha.